I'm not as good as some people. But I have gotten very good in uh, four years and about eight months. And there's no airflow, guys. That right there is just a, uh, let's, uh, let's go like this. Okay. I want you to see. That it's just a piece of foil, very big. I want to show you how big. It's nine inches by no, 10 inches by 11 inches. Let's turn on this light for a second. And this ought to show you. It's just a spike. It's balanced on. So I remember for four years, I was not able to move foil that size. Show you how far away I'm sitting, by the way. Five feet, five inches. Doors way over there. Nothing's coming out of the vent. Door is closed. Mask is on. The trick is to pull the energy into the heart space. Now, why is this so important? Because we are moving from brain-based intelligence to heart-based intelligence, and your heart is actually far more um, intelligent than your brain is. And it is Raphael, so our Archangel Raphael gave the Ascended Masters a a way to get around trying to light up the chakras in order. So if you think about it, yeah, you have the seven, but you also have one above the head, one below the head, one at the back of the head, one about six inches behind the back of the head. You have chakras going up and down your left and right sides as well. 
And then you have another heart chakra, actually, that's in between the throat and the original, you know, heart chakra. So anyways, Archangel Raphael, if you look up Serapis Bay, the Ascension Handbook, you'll find that Raphael gave us a technology which he called the Unified, Unified Chakra. And all it is, is using the heart chakra and then expanding it like a bubble. So you expand it way beyond the body. And, you know, some people can expand it to the size of their neighborhood, right? Some to the size of their city, some to the size of the entire planet. But I just want to show you. I'm not trying to fool you guys, okay? I'm trying to cha uh, train you in intention and energy. Now, yes, I'm an ancient soul. I'm pretty sure of it. I don't yet have um, memories from past lives, but I believe that um, I've had dreams where I kind of experienced that. There's no strings on my hands, guys. Okay, there's no magnets. But a lot of you guys don't want to believe. It's like you want to hold on to your limitations. You want to hold on to that which causes you suffering. And that's fine. But I believe I was placed on this earth. to help people reach kind of that connection with, uh, you know, the divine. So I came here to be a temporary guide to help you get back to yourselves. You know, and hopefully hopefully I'm able to do that kind of thing. All right, let's see if we can. And over time, you'll get better and better. I'm still, I'm still learning.
but I believe I can also teach people quite a bit. Sometimes to get it started, you have to get up close to it again, walk by it. If you walk by it, then uh, you'll stir up the air. So if I zoom out. And just so you know, this doesn't ordinarily just continue. And if somebody can do this, right? What else are we capable of? Are we capable of teleportation? Are we capable of flying? Are we capable of telepathy?